Hey folks, we're in central Minnesota today. It is August uh, 20th, I believe, or 21st, 21st. And um, mushrooms are just starting to pop around here. Um, we've got some rain, some cold weather lately. Um, the hen of the woods should be starting to come out pretty soon. We've been finding a lot of chickens lately. Um, a lot of smaller ones, you know, we've been finding the, the late Taporus sulfurius and the late Taporus cincinnatus. And today we're out and you could see this from a mile away in the woods. I've, this is the first one I've found with this color and of this size on this log here. Look at this. Talk about beautiful. Oh, look at the, and you can tell this is the sulfurious because if you look underneath the cap here, the sulfurious has a, has a yellow underside, like I said, and the cincinnatus has a white, is, has like a peach or a white poured mushroom. But this one here is prime for the picking. I mean, this is probably gonna weigh 10, 15 pounds of mushroom. Um, I already have some in my freezer, but we're gonna harvest this today and we're gonna give it to some friends and stuff, you know. Um, yeah, gosh, I don't know. Uh, if you wanna get in, take a, take a nice close look at the colors on this. Isn't that just how beautiful that is? Look at that, that yellow and that bright orange. Isn't that amazing? And this, this, this mushroom is such, such a good eating mushroom. Oh, I couldn't even tell you. You know, get out in the woods, you'll find them. You can see that, you can see that this one here is on a dead, actually I believe this is a, this is probably a dead, uh, I think it's an oak. Can't tell for sure. There's some small oaks around here and stuff, but generally they're, they're on oaks. You know, you see there's another dead one up there that popped a few weeks ago, but this is just amazing. Gosh, can't wait to bring this, this bugger home. So, uh, Thanks for watching my video. You guys get out in the woods, get after these mushrooms. It's, mushrooms, it's that time of year. All right, I'm gonna harvest this mushroom right now for you guys. Um, the important part is, leave the mycelium on the tree. You don't, you know, you wanna cut the mushroom off right around the base someplace. I'll take this one off here. You can see, see the underside, there's some bugs and stuff on there, but we'll easily pick that stuff off there. I'll set this down right here. Under here, I can see, once again, the base of it. I'm just gonna cut right across here. Hopefully, got all of it. Oh, look at look at that. That's 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 right. You want to leave that there. Look at look at this. Seriously. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm gonna do the other side here. I don't think the other the other side is in one piece. It's actually a bunch of pieces. But oh, let's go all the way across here. Oh. There we go. You can see I left all that on there. Put my knife down there. Oh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is such a score. I've never found one like this before. I can't wait to get this bad boy home and eat some of this. It's and this one is just prime. You can see see on the mycelium here how the how the juice is just is just pouring out of there still. That's how I can tell you that they're really fresh and the fronds on the ends will be nice and thick and, and clump, clumpy, not you know thin like a piece of cardboard. So, well, me and my buddy Todd are gonna take this bugger home and split it up, enjoy some good eating.